Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to continue to solve past paper from EJU Mathematics 2022, second section, course 2, question number 2 from the first section. So this is basically the second question from this past paper. If you want to watch the solution from the other problem on this paper, you can check link on the description box below. And you can also check my EJU playlist if you want to watch the solution from the other past paper for your EJU preparation. Before I start, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video to your friend, and subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay? In this question, let us define two integers. So we will define two integers m and n as being connected when n is 1 of m minus 1 m or m plus 1 so when n is equals to m minus 1 or m or m plus 1 so n m n um, is called connected from this statement, we can make a conclusion that if n is equals to m or n is equals to m minus 1 or n equals to m plus 1, that means m and n are connected. So the difference between m and n should be equal to 0 or equals to 1. Let us carry out the following trial using one dice. First, the dice is thrown, so we will throw a dice here. For subsequent throw, if the number on the dice is connected with the number of the previous throw, we throw the dice again. So, for example, if my first throw is equal to 2, this is my first throw, if my second throw is connected with 2, let's say my second throw is also 2, then we will throw the dice again. But if my second throw is not connected with 2, let's say my second throw is, let's say, um, 4, the difference between 2 and 4 is 2, that means 2 and 4 are not connected then the trial ends. So we have two different cases here. Either the number are connected. If the number are connected, then we will throw the dice again. And the second case is the two numbers are not connected. If they are not connected, the trial ends. The first question is, find the probability that the trial will continue after the second throw. That means the second throw must be connected to the first throw. If the second throw is the connected to the first throw, that means we will continue um, the we will continue or we will throw the dice again. So if I see all the cases or all the possible cases here, let's say the first throw, and then this is the second throw. If the first throw is 1, that means my second throw must be 1 or 2, so that they are connected. So my second dice or my second throw should be 1 or 2. So they are connected and then we will continue after the second throw. And then if my first throw is equal to 2, then my second throw must be either 1, 2 or 3. You need to see or to understand this condition. yeah. The condition where those two numbers are connected. The difference between two numbers is 1 or 0. So if my first number is 2, then my second number, so that they are connected, is either 1, 
2 or 3 and so on if I continue this let's say my first row is equals to 3 that means my second row should be either 2 3 or 4 and so on until my first row is equals to 6 and then if it is 4 then 3 4 and 5 if my first row is 5 then my second row must be either 4 5 and 6 and then the last condition is if my first row is 6 then my second row must be either 5 or 6 from here you can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 different cases. If we throw a dice twice, that means the sample space is 6 times 6, which is 36. So the probability is um, 16 over 36. So my first answer here is 16 over 36. If we divide both the numerator and denominator by um, by 4, then I will get 4 over 9. This is the answer for the first question. So and, and O is 4 and 9. And then the second question the probability that the trial will end with the second row is blah blah blah. It will end at the second row if the first and the second number or the first and the second row are not connected. If we use a complement, that means since the probability they are connected is 4 over 9, so the probability they are not connected so that the trial will end with the second row is 1 minus 4 over 9 then you will obtain 5 over 9 this is for P and Q and then for the next question for R, S and T for R, S and T in the following sentences choose the correct answer from among 0 until 9 so for this three letter, we need to choose the correct answer here. For question number three, the probability that the trial will continue after the third row. It will continue after the third row is blah blah blah. So after I have this, I will continue to throw the dice once again when I continue the dice once again the number here must connect it with the second throw because it will continue after the third throw that means the number that I obtain in third throw must be connected with the number on the second throw I think for this question, it is easier for me to represent it in a tree diagram. So, um, let's say this is my first row. This is my first row, one. Then my second row should be either one or two. And then if my first row is two, it should be either one, two, or three and so on 2, 3 and 4 if it is 4 we have 3, 4 and 5 yeah, if I have 5 on my first row then my second row should be either 4, 5 or 6 and then the last one is if my first row is 6 then my second row is should be 5 or 6 Assume that my second row is 1 That means to be connected 
my third row is should be either one or two so i have two more cases here and then if my second row is two then my third row so that they are connected is either one two or three so i have three cases here so for this second and third row are connected i have two cases and then i have three cases here because um, our third row should be either one two or three so that it is connected with two so i have three different cases here and then if my second row is one i have two more cases for the third row which is one or two so i have two here i have three here and so on if you continue it it should be something like this for example this one yeah if my second row is three that means my third row is should be two three or four so i have three cases three cases three cases three here it is also three here be careful for this one if your second row is six that means your third row is either five or six so there is only two possible cases here and then for last one if our first sorry if i uh, if our second row is five that means our third row we have three cases and then two cases here so basically this is all the possibility for the second and third row to be connected so that the trial will continue after the third row if you calculate from this you will obtain we have two two oops sorry this is not four but two yeah this is two not four so we have one two three and four four times two i will write down here four times two plus one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve times three plus twelve times three over if we throw a dice three times the sample space is six times six times six so this is the probability that the trial will continue after the third row if you calculate this you have 8 plus 36 over 8 plus 36 over 6 times 6 times 6 i think you can simplify that expression 36 plus 8 you have 44 divide by 216 <coughs> if you simplify it you will obtain 11 over 54 so my answer for letter r here is number 2 11 over 54 let's proceed to the fourth question the probability that the trial will end with the second or third row is blah 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 so we want that the trial is or will end with the second or the third row i already know that the trial will end with the second row with probability 5 over 9 so this one is 5 over 9 now i need to find the probability that the trial will end on the third row 
If I want to find the probability that the trial will end on the third row, that means the first and second row must be connected. So the first and the second must be connected. You can see my illustration here. See the red one. Like this. I will erase all the blue one here. So the first and second must be connected. And then the second and the third one or the second and the third row has not connected. So that it will end on the third row. So if your second row is one, that means our third row must be either three, four, five, or six so that they are not connected because we want the trial end on the third row <clears throat> so you have four cases here and then if your second row is two that means your third row should be either four five or six so that they are not connected that means you have three cases here and so on so basically, six possibility minus the previous one. So six minus two, we have four here. Three, three, and so on. Oh, this one is the same, this one all the same. For this one, four. For this one, it is also four. This is all the possibility for the third row to be not connected with the second row so that the trial will stop or end on the third row so the total cases is 4 times 4 plus we have 12 here yeah 4 3 3 times 12 so for this one I have 4 times 4 plus 12 times 3 over 6 times 6 times 6 if you calculate this you will obtain 16 plus 36 16 plus 36 is 52 over 216 52 over 216 is equals to um, 13 over <coughs> 54. That means the probability that the trial will end with the second or the third row is the sum of 5 over 9 and 13 over 54. So my final answer is you can times this by 630 43 over 54 I think this is the answer for letter S 43 over 54 so S is number 7 and then for the last question here find the probability that the trial will end with the third row we already find the probability yeah the trial will end with the third row is this one so same as that one so I do not need to calculate anymore because I already know the answer the answer for T is 13 over 54 which is number 3 okay that's it for this video this is the solution for the second question from past paper AJU Mathematics 2022 second session course 2. Thank you very much guys for watching this video till the end. I hope I can see you guys on my next video. Bye bye.